Hey all, Tony Bing here, hello and welcome back to another video for Marvel Super War. So we have another support character to look at tonight and we'll start off by looking at our kit and then once we've done that we'll show off some gameplay as well. So it's Cloak and Dagger, you can see they look absolutely amazing. It does look a little bit odd but it does look pretty amazing as well, the style for it. Another character that they've knocked out of the park. Now let's bring up their kit and have a quick look before we get into the gameplay. So they are a support class and I really do like that playstyle. So the hero trait is shadowing with this particular one. When you're doing your basic attack, that will be dagger that's doing it and cloak helps out and you build something called life power stacks that can be used to boost your healing and we'll see the skill that is actually boosted by that in just a moment. We've then got her damage skill, which is light daggers. It does damage and actually slows the target for a small amount of time as well. And that again will actually build life power stacks. So all your stacks, they'll go into a skill called Living Light, which is an AOE that goes off around you and it'll heal your allies and it'll actually heal yourself. And the more life power stacks you've got, the more healing it'll do for you there. So you want to build them up. We've then got our crowd control skill. This one here is Dark Fear. It looks really nice, the animation on it. You'll have cloak that flies forward and attacks the target while you can hang back as dagger. With this as well, you actually, let's see, it says you imprison the target for 1.5 seconds. Next up, and the final ability we look at is Dark Force Dimension. It's got a pretty high cooldown this one, but with it, it's really nice how it works. As you teleport one of your allies back to their base, less than a second, you heal back up to full health and then come straight back into the fight again. So this is a, a really nice skill here and she can put out a, a really nice amount of support as well. So let's jump in and let's actually show this off. So we'll start off here going for the hit point regen, just reason being that we're actually going all in in the support here. So we'll see where everyone's going, so I can actually support someone. On her own I can't do much, but paired up with another character I can keep them in the fight and should work really well. That certainly worked really well with Mantis, the video we done earlier on, I think it was about 8 minutes to actually beat the opposite team. Just as long as this Star-Lord pushes forward then we will be fine. And go, we've got Groot here. Actually, Hawkeye as well. Just flying off the region there, just so you can see it. Groot's actually gone pretty low already, so that's good. That's him down. We'll now go for the, the crowd control. Star Lord can really do decent damage, as you can see. Let's group back up again. I believe he turns into baby group for a little while before he comes back, which is pretty amazing. It's really good that it does that. Let's use the control. So you can see Cloak flying forward there. It actually does really decent damage as well. I'll actually upgrade this again for now. Gonna need that control back in a moment. Get it on Hawkeye. Let's group back again. Can be a right pain to be honest. Never away for too long. Let's send in cloak against them. Need to watch your health a bit here, a little bit on the lower side. Can actually pull back here very quickly. Let's go for the damage skill this time now. Star-Lord is absolutely shredding the enemy heroes, he really is. There you go, this baby Groot again, you can actually see him. Get the hit point regen on us. And we'll actually upgrade that now. Let's group back again. It's an absolute pain group, it really is. Go for the physical defense here just so we can stay up for longer. Get some healing on Star-Lord. So 
the healing's definitely decent, but it's not it's not anything like Mantis until you get that final movement skill, although that's really nice, just tops a character all the way back up again. Should be unlocking that soon, hopefully. There we go, actually. That was nice. I'm going to Starlord back again. I've now got that final skill. If I need to heal him up, I can send him back very quickly. There you go, one turret down. Let's actually heal up Starlord. You can see that there. Takes him away, brings him back full health. Absolutely amazing. Really do like that. I'm sure there are a player that has it happen to them, randomly getting full health. I'm sure they do like that as well when it happens. Let's just go for more control because it actually does really nice damage. We've got a ton of our minions coming in here. We've now got Black Widow. She can be pretty dangerous. She can burn you down really quite quick. Unless, of course, there's two of you teamed up. Probably should have kept that for the next hero coming in. Yeah, there we go. Hawkeye comes in just as I use it. Look at that damage on Star Lord. Amazing. Oh, we've got a few characters coming from the forest here. Okay, need to be careful. Let's see how we can go on against them. Not making much progress because there's so many of them, but at least we're, we're pulling some of the characters from the other lanes, so that will hopefully help out a bit. There's Hulk down. Need our minions, there's Grit coming back again. So I definitely enjoy the, the whole play style of support. A bit more to do on Cloak and Dagger than is on Mantis. Mantis is really easy to play. Still fun. Go, managed to get Black Widow there. You can't hide from the light force. An enemy hero has been defeated. Starting to push through really quick. That turret went down nice and quickly there. So let's keep going, Star Lord. Look at that. Wow. Groot smashed. Okay, this could be troublesome now. <laughs> I don't have a way that I can send myself back really quickly, unfortunately. Hopefully stay in here and still support Star-Lord. Quickly send them back, heal them up. Ah, and now his health's really low, of course. That's what happens, he gets burned down quick. Hello, I think we took out most of them. And they're back again already. There we go. I was about to say struggling to see what's going on, but the other team must have been taken out. So that's another quick win. It seems to be when you've got a support player that's actually supporting a, a damage class, you can push forward really quick, and that seemed to be the case there. 
so that was good fun. Now next up I believe we have Black Dwarf to cover, this was requested in the comments one of the previous videos so I'll, I'll do one for them and once again let me know any other teams you want to run and if you've been running Cloak and Dagger let me know what you think of them and if you're enjoying them as well and thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon.